Hello makers, welcome to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe, and today we're going to talk about Prima Select filaments. Stick around! Welcome back makers. So a while ago I had showcased some sample filaments which I had received in the uh, MakerBox Monthly. I think it was back in February. Now since then I've been quite busy with episodes as you might have noticed. Uh, but I've decided to crack on and get more sample filaments out and start testing. Now I got a couple of boxes of sample filaments from uh, the importer of Prima Select filaments here in Malta. And I've tried to stick with four, which could be the most important and popular out of their whole range. Now they have many more types of filaments, but for now we'll stick to these four. Now these are PLA, I have some PETG Clear, some ABS and some ABS Plus. Now obviously the sample only carries with it about 10 meters of filament, so I can only do small samples because if I get it wrong, I cannot do it again unless uh, the sample file doesn't take more than five meters of filament. So we'll start off with the PLA, which is the red benchy. Now this was printed at 210 degrees, which is a bit more than I usually print with PLA. However, it actually turned out quite great. I want to point out that all of these samples were printed at uh, 100 microns, so 0.10 millimeter layer heights, and at 40 millimeters a second. This Benchy printed right off the bat, straight away. Layers adhered quite nicely together, so I was extremely pleasantly surprised with this. It, it turned out quite great and it was a very easy filament to use. Next up is the clear PETG. Now I need to point out that all of these models were printed on the same printer as well, and that is the Emotion Tech Micro Delta Rework. Currently, all my printers, as you can see, it's, it's slightly clear behind me. All of the printers have been moved out of the office because I have to do a lot of pre-recordings since I'm going to be away and all the projects I have running are outside the office. So the wife isn't very happy at the moment with printers all over the house, but the office. <laughs> As I was saying, this is clear PETG. Now, clear PETG, clear PETG usually prints at around 235 degrees, at least that's the PETG I usually use. However, the recommendations of this is 195 to 220 degrees. So I decided to opt for the high end of the scale, which is 220. Lo and behold, it, it printed gloriously straight off the bat. It looks, I dare say, almost perfect. Layer adhesion was nice. The finish was absolutely beautiful. So I was extremely happy and I definitely, definitely would recommend trying out this PETG because it's very, very easy to use. Next up is the ABS Plus, this little black banshee right here. I don't recall ever using ABS Plus, but I figured it can't be much different than ABS. Now, while I don't have a lot of experience with ABS, I've had some trials and errors, so I figured I should maybe know how to print with ABS Plus. Either way, I um, threw some filament in the uh, Delta. I set the temperature at 230 degrees on the hot end because I didn't want to set it too high and 90 degrees on the heat bed. Now I want to point out that I also stuck some magic goo on the Biltec for this to adhere a bit better. The finish, not impressive, far from it. I feel that it's mostly due to my settings. I kind of need to recalibrate myself when it comes to ABS. I really need to practice more with printing with it, but it's not entirely that bad where it printed well, I think the, the reason why I think is because of the settings is because the bottom layers or half the half of the benchy hull seems a bit kind of stringy. So I'm thinking there wasn't enough heat maybe. Further up it goes, it gets better. And the finish is, is really nice. And something, 
something I noticed about this ABS Plus, and that is I could not smell any ABS, which I've, I've printed with a few samples of ABS before. I've printed a few benches and a, a couple of parts. And there's always the smell of burning plastic, which is the usual smell of ABS. However, this had no smell whatsoever. And I noticed that instantly. So I was extremely surprised. I went on the um, 3D Prima site where they sell these online. And it actually says that there are no hazardous fumes that come out of printing this. So that was extremely interesting to see. Finally, it was the ABS turn. Now this is standard ABS. The difference between the ABS and the ABS Plus is supposed to be that the ABS Plus is slightly stronger and slightly easier to print with. However, I have to say that the ABS print actually came out really, really well. I was quite surprised. I also printed this at 200 degrees on the uh, hot end and 90 degrees on the heat bed. I also used some magic goo on the Biltec surface just to help it adhere better. And I was very, very surprised. I was quite happy to see that it printed much better than the ABS Plus. And I had not changed the settings at all. It was, it was still at 0.1 millimeter layer heights and it was still at 40 millimeters a second. Once again, no bad smell coming off the print. And that was really surprising to me once again. So I was quite happy to see that even this actually states on the side that there are no hazardous fumes. I have yet to hear about ABS that has no hazardous fumes, but that is really interesting. And I really want to look into that further because that kind of changes the game a little bit. And those are the test prints I have for you today. Now the PETG, the PLA and the um, ABS, those come in 750 gram spools at around 30 euros a spool. And the ABS Plus costs about 40 euros for a 750 gram spools. Now I need to point out that for double that price, you get almost three times as much filaments because a 2.3 kilogram spool on the site is advertised around 60 euros for the PLA, the ABS and the PETG. And I think if I'm not wrong, it's about 80 euros for the 2.3 kilograms um, ABS spool. So it's worth considering if you use quite a lot of filament to just go for the 2.3 kilo spool because it's, it's well worth it. So that is it for me, guys. I will be doing more of these as I have hundreds of samples of filament still to do. It might take a while because just like this episode, it is pre-recorded. I am extremely busy at the moment, so I'm trying to churn out episodes as quickly as I can. Also, my uh, holiday is coming up and Bay Area Maker Fair. So by the time this goes live, I should be in New York. So keep a watch out on Twitter because I might tweet out where I'm at. So if you guys want to come and see me, you're more than welcome. In the meantime, that is it for me today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a comment, subscribe, share. And as always, happy making, guys.